So I've seen the videos going around about things in my blank house that just make sense. Well, this is my take on that. This is things in my witchy house or things in, in a witch's house that just make sense. So here we go. Books upon books and more books and more books, mostly on the occult, but you can find books of literally any subject. Um, witches or researchers, we research literally everything. So these are some of my occult books. Tarot cards sitting out. Um, lanterns everywhere. Spells above the door. Uh, things like this hanging around. Um, up usually above every single door. Right now I'm in the middle of holiday decorating, um, but you will always find things above the doorways. Herb racks just hanging in the living room. This is, makes so much sense to have it right here. It's a dark, cool spot. Little sprigs of lavender and other plants just hanging about. An entire room of plants of every shape, color, size you can see and find. Crystals, different crystals and mugs and candles and salt, chunks of salt you will find. Oh, and this skull, just a random skull, just hanging out. More charms hanging. There's always charms everywhere. Plants hanging about. Strange little things that I find because I'm like a crow. Tiny herb racks with spell bottles. All the art pertaining to other worlds, magic, things of that nature. A kitchen witch ladle in the doorway of the kitchen. A iron horseshoe above the doorway to sweep negative energy out of your home and, th and as you're walking through. In the kitchen, we have kitchen witch items. Um, little, like I said, um, all of my art basically is relating to the occult little strange little findings, little groupings, strange little groupings of strange little things that I've collected on my journeys. Crystals just hanging out everywhere, everywhere you turn. Different sizes of mortar and pestles all over the house, as well as different size cauldrons. Speaking of cauldrons, I just have a lot of cauldrons just hanging out in the kitchen full of random plant material. A herb drying rack with a kitchen witch ladle. More charms. Tiny bottles of feathers. Um, in this one we've got blue jay, blue jay, I think that's a dove. Um, and these two here on the end are hummingbird feathers and these I don't know what these are but I think they might be like finch flowers or feathers not flowers I'm sorry and over here in uh, the kitchen window more herbs more charms more propagating of things random fairies uh, this blue jar of broken glass or this jar of blue broken glass acting as a protection charm very normal my soap sits on an agate slice um, homegrown herbs in your kitchen very common in a witch's home uh, I try to do everything as homegrown as possible obviously that's not feasible in this day and age but you will find any type of spice or herb or anything that you can think of. Strange little dried lemons just sitting here waiting for me to uh, bottle them up.
groupings of bottles at every doorway. An entire room dedicated solely for witchcraft and all things like that. Um, altar spaces everywhere you go throughout the home, as well as miniatures, miniature things. Check these out that I made. This is a dragon. Oh, <gasps> oh no! We're safe. This is a dragonfly wing that I acquired, and an egg corn top, and it does open. Well, no, this one doesn't, but other ones I made do. Uh, but yes, things like that, just sitting around the home. Um, there's always going to be a different smell. Uh, and more herbs, more flowers. <clears throat> um, anything and everything that you can think of relating to witchcraft, I have it. Um... Any drawer you open, you are bound to find um, either a empty bag, or a bag of seeds, or just some candle wicks, or some Palo Santo. Um, a goblet with dead butterflies in it. Shelves with oils and mini spoons and mini boxes. Beautiful tapestries everywhere and just lots of homemade and love put into everything um, and a garden space in the background all the garden space ready for when a witch looks into the garden, an empty garden, I see potential and looming possibilities. Crystals in the window that shine off um, light, that bounce the light in different ways. Herbs hanging in the window, dried chilies. All of these things will make sense if you, when you walk into a witch's home, finding random bones. Don't be scared, it's okay. Deer horns, all of these things you will find in a typical witch's home. Wands, sticks, anything you need, I got it baby. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if there's anything else that you've spotted that is uh, indicative of being a witch's home, let me know down in the comments. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day.